The first day of school vacation found Elvin so striding down the street to buy the Saturday morning newspaper. With two weeks stretching ahead, Elvin was determined to find a case that he and his investigators could work on. As usual, Elvin was wearing an old white t-shirt, blue jeans and sneakers. His gel slicked hair was always cut very short at the side which seemed to make his ears stick out, and because his hair sprouted from the top of his head, he looked a bit like a tyrant. When he bought the bulky newspaper, he tossed away everything except the main section where the latest news was reported. He stopped outside the shop to check the headlines on the front page. A green banner caught his attention, and his eyebrows shot up. Diva muttered. He recognized the face in the photograph at once. Jamie, a beautiful singer in her early twenties, his eyes back to the story. It was short and set in bold print. It took him that Jamie, as she was known, had been found strangled in her dressing room at the theatre the night before, minutes before she was still on stage. He learned that the pop princess's real name was Jose Chan and that she was 23 years old. Her brutal murder had shocked the music world. Thousands of fans were in mourning for the young diva. The police apparently had no clues. Security guards had meant man- every entrance and exit. Nobody had seen any strangers backstage at the theatre. Heading the investigation, investigation, Sergeant Samuel Su appealed to the members of the public to come forward if they had seen anything or anyone suspicious near the theatre. Elvin folded the newspaper under his arm. Already his instincts told him that the diva's murder had been an inside job. He paused long enough to send text messages to his investigators, then hurried on to his headquarters, and as he did, his mind went back to the night one year ago when he had first become aware of Jamie. Elvin was not keen on television, mainly he watched the news for details of the latest murders and of course the CSI shows were often picked up ideas for solving mysteries. On that particular night, however, he was sitting at home watching a talent show called Star Major with his mother. He stifled a yawn. Elvin, aren't you interested to see who wins? Gracie asked her son. Mom, all these talent shows are the same, Elvin pointed out. Star Matra is different, Gracie replied, subduing her irritation. The winner will become very famous and go to the top of the music world. Sure, Mom, Elvin conceded, but I'd rather see a good mother. Gracie wrote her eyes. Honestly, Elvin, I have been following this show for weeks, and it is very exciting. Suddenly, she was bowed upright in her chair, and that is the girl I think she will win. Elvin saw a beautiful young woman step onto the stage and start singing. Despite himself, he could not dare tear his gaze away from the screen. Well, what do you think, prompted Gracie, amused to see her son's reaction to the singer. Elvin shrugged. She is kind of pretty. But her voice, Elvin, Gracie persisted. What do you think? Well, she can sing, I guess. Secretly, Elvin disliked women who were clever and or talented. Women like that were usually bossy, like Wailing, his former girlfriend. She was clever but too much trouble too. 
fond of arguing with him, always trying to run his life. Besides, he still treasured his memory of Tai, the daughter of master criminal known only as the Snake. No woman in the world would ever take her place. As he gazed at the screen, Elvin suddenly realized that the singer was very good. What is her name? Gracie smiled. You see, I thought you liked her. What is her name, Mum? Elvin stonily repeated. She hated it when his mother tried to get him interested in girls. Jame, what a weird name. Crazy sight. It means I love in French. But she is not French. That does not matter. That is her stage name. Alvin grunted. But when the singer had finished, to thunderous applause, and the judges announced she was the winner. He turned to his mother. You were right, Mom. She won. He glanced at his watch. Hey, there is a crime show on the other channel. And now, Jamie, Jose Chan, the diva with everything to live for, was dead, strangled the night before, and as he quickened his pace along the street, Helvin sensed that he was about to begin one of his most challenging cases.